Yeah! Hola gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day, and I try things so you don't have to. Today I am at Jack in the Box, and I am trying one of their egg rolls. Um, I've been wanting to try one of these for a while, and just now got around to it. I love Chinese food. I have a difficult time finding good Chinese food. Um, and if I'll tell you how much I love Chinese food. If you were to tell me that I could only have one type of food for the rest of my life, it would be Chinese food. All right, let's go to the clipboard of fluff, which tells us that the Jack in the Box egg rolls are crispy egg rolls filled with diced pork, cabbage, celery, carrots, onions, and spices, and served with sweet and sour dipping sauce. Mmm. There is the bag it came in. There's a little maze on the back and a space shuttle and spaceman. I guess they knew I was a kid at heart, so I got the special bag. And it took a couple minutes to get it made because Jack in the Box is made to order stuff. That's one reason I really like it. Smells really good. So let's see what we have here. Hmm. Not too big. There is the size of a jack-in-the-box egg roll. So it's, I guess it's a medium-sized, going toward a small egg roll. It's nice and crispy and brown on the outside. So very nicely presented. Very, very hot. So here's our sweet and sour sauce. So we're definitely going to try the egg roll in that. Let's try it out. There's a look inside for you. See, it's nicely filled. It's got a nice veggie taste. It's very mild and it works really well. All the flavors work really well together. Nothing pops over anything else. So um, there, there's not a superstar inside. You taste a lot of vegetable, um, not so much a lot of pork. I think I can see the pork in there, the shredded pork, um, but the it just doesn't stand out over the vegetables. The, the spices, um, I would think, would come out a little bit more, and I'm being very nitpicky about this because it's just kind of mild, and the, the way they, the fluff on the website just makes it sound like it's going to be really, really good, but I guess what company doesn't do that? Let's dip it in the sauce. It's decent inside the sweet and sour sauce. I'd probably prefer it without it. I think I would like it more if it was a spring roll sauce. I think that would be the ticket. The damage on the spring roll was $1.69. Uh, or you can get three of them for $4.19. So if you have your family with you, you may want to go that route. Um, I think it's a little bit high for just a medium to a small egg roll, I would expect either a lower price or a larger egg roll. In all my vast Chinese food experience, the size kind of reminds me of a spring roll more than it does an egg roll. I would expect an egg roll to be bigger. On the Nerdometer, I would rate the Jack of the Box egg roll, um, I think I would give it a a low, I like it. It's pretty good. Um, it's nothing really special. Didn't knock my socks off the way I wanted it to. And maybe I was expecting too much, a little too much anticipation. The flavors were good together. Uh, there's really no negatives except for the size. So if I were Jack, if I was a CEO, I would go ahead and move that size up bigger or reduce the price. I think the size should be bigger. Go that way. Go out, give it a try. See what you think of the Jack in the Box egg roll. And if you have tried it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and join me over at Facebook, Twitter,
Twitter and Instagram at Old Nerd Reviews. And you too can become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Uh-huh. Also over the website at oldnerdreviews.com. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and I'll see you next video. Bye now. Thank you.